But hindi na lang sila sumunod sa quarantine, but lumalabas pa rin sila ng bahay. Akala niyo bang gusto nilang lumabas ng bahay? Akala niyo bang mahilig sila magtrabaho or gusto na nilang ma-expose sa virus? Janina here. Sa totoo lang, pangalawang subo ka na itong mag-film ng update video tungkol sa COVID-19. Ano ba talaga yung lockdown or community quarantine or ano yung mga parameters nun or any updates on COVID-19? Wala namang mali sa last video ko. It's just that medyo nagka-realization lang ako while editing. Because I post my videos to speak up on topics that I feel like people need to hear. Pero habang nag edit ako, it just dawned on me that people don't need to hear haunting scientific facts. They don't need to hear more political blunders. They need compassion. We need kindness. We need hope. Ang dami kong galit sa mundo ngayon. As in, pag nagsascroll ako sa Twitter, gusto ko mag-react sa mga mema, sa mga nakakancel, sa mga news updates, sa mga, I don't know, checkpoints, yung mga ginagawa ng gobyerno. Parang nakakagalit talaga siya, fam. But I'm actually so, so proud because there are so many of us who are finally speaking up on these issues. But right now, I kind of want to talk to a certain group of people. Um, the people who turn a blind eye because they can. The, the people who allow themselves to be ignorant. Para sa akin kasi ignorance is a misunderstanding of reality, um, but ignorance is also a privilege and it's a privilege probably 80% of Filipinos don't have. Minsan nagre-reklamo pa tayo na stuck lang tayo sa bahay, bored na bored na tayo, pero ang daming mga Pilipino na wala silang bahay na uuwian. Nagagalit tayo sa mga empleyadong pumapasok pa rin, sa mga jeepney driver na namamasahe pa rin, sa mga vendor na nagbabenta pa rin sa mga kalsada. Minsan sinasabi pa natin, but hindi na lang sila sumunod sa quarantine, but lumalabas pa rin sila ng bahay. Believe me, nagagets ko naman talaga yung frustration. I get the urgency of the quarantine. I get the urgency of having to stay home. But I feel like there's just lack of understanding on both parties. Maybe some of the people who still go outside just don't completely understand the gravity of the situation. But maybe some of us also could be a little bit more understanding because kung hindi sila magtatrabaho, wala silang pagkain. They have to work on a daily basis to be able to provide for their family. Akala niyo bang gusto nilang lumabas ng bahay? Akala niyo bang mahilig silang magtrabaho or gusto nilang ma-expose sa virus? Because while you're thinking about what Netflix show to binge watch next, they're thinking about how they're going to be able to feed their kids tomorrow. While you're complaining about being too cooped up for too long, they're scared for their lives on their way home. While, while you're counting days till April 12, they're counting their money for groceries, for medicine, for rent, for tuition fee. Hindi ako galit. Well, actually, saktong galit lang. Because and I'm all for the quarantine. I'm I'm I, I understand the need for it. I'm not against it. It's just that I'm against the way that it's being imposed right now. Hindi kasi pwede na i-declare na lang ang home lockdown. Tapos bulag-bulaga na lang tayo sa mga repercussions to the people because uh, I've heard horrific stories of you know, people having to run from Valenzuela to the next province because they have 30 minutes to cross the border before lockdown. People are already scared as it is and now they're made to run for their lives. Kahapon, may nabasa akong story ng isang lola na she had to carry big bags of groceries and medicine for 10 kilometers because mass transportation has been completely suspended. And because people are panicking, people are panic buying now, and so our countrymen go to grocery stores and they're met with the horror that there's nothing on the shelves anymore. Again, I'm not against the quarantine. I'm just saying that it could have been imposed better. Because January pa lang may alam na tayo some health crisis na dadating. And I guess sana lang na paghandaan lang siya ng mas mabuti. Obviously, alam natin lahat na this is a major health crisis worldwide. And baka default natin, automatically, we look to the government for help. But I feel like this problem is too big for just the government to handle alone. Kailangan natin mga Pilipino magtulong-tulungan. Kasi sa totoo lang, late na tayo sa mga measures against COVID. I don't want to be too late for a countryman either. So, nagpost ako sa Instagram calling out companies and institutions and even the government to support those who are in need. Um, kaya sobra akong sumaya when I heard that Ayala Group is, or they have a response package worth 2.4 billion pesos para sa mga empleyado nila. Nag-allocate rin ng SM Group ng 100 million kay PG 
GHNRIDM, and the Office of the Vice President is donating 11.4 million to hospitals and health workers. The Philippines has actually received 500 COVID-19 test kits from South Korea and is awaiting about 5,000 more. And also, China has pledged 10,000 test kits. I also heard that Manny Pacquiao and his foundation donated, I think, 700,000 masks, if I'm not mistaken. I also heard that ABS is paying both their contractual and project-based employees for the whole month of the quarantine, even without going to work. These are just some of the many beautiful stories of people standing up for the vulnerable and these are the kind of stories that we should be listening to because these are the stories that give us hope. Okay, so para sa mga nanonood ngayon, um, I put together a list of things that we can do to do our part and here it goes. <laughs> Number one is to stay updated. It's both our duty and our right to know what's going on in our country. Trust me, at this point, you have no excuse. You're home for a month with your phones, with your laptops. You can, you know, check Twitter, you can check Facebook, you can check all of these reputable news articles online. There's really no excuse not to be informed. Plus, if ignorance is a distorted view of reality, the best cure for that is to see. Um, but I would encourage us, wag muna tayo maging obsessed sa mga numbers. But like I would check the world live count almost every other hour just to see how many cases there are, how many deaths there were, and that just wasn't good for me because you know the numbers are going to spike. I think expected naman talaga yon. Kailangan lang natin i reconfigure yung mga brains natin na hindi magfocus lang sa bad news but on the good news. Number two, don't let hate consume you. If the world practice an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, the world will end up blind and toothless. I want to encourage everyone, let's try our best not to fight fire with fire. Alam ko nagalit tayo. We demand more from the government because we deserve more from the government. But let's not allow this crisis to let us lose our humanity and make us less of the good people that we are. Don't get me wrong, it's okay. And I actually encourage you to speak up on different issues when it calls for it. But Mockery doesn't help. Number three, let's practice empathy. Let's extend our understanding beyond ourselves, beyond our own households. Let's pop our bubbles so that we can see the reality outside of our comfort zones. Kailangan natin maintindihan ang pagkakaiba ng sympathy at empathy. Sympathy, by definition, is feelings of pity and sorry for someone else's misfortune. But empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Meaning, we're all in this together. Meaning, kapit bisig tayo. Number four is to show compassion. And now I'm not just talking about sympathy, I'm not just talking about empathy, but compassion without action is hypocritical. I have here a list of groups that are doing different things to help our countrymen. So first, we have hashtag May 20 ako, so you can donate money for hand sanitizer and soap for the people who can't afford it. So literally, you only need to donate 20 pesos. Yung pagkain para sa Pinoy ni Bella Padilla is actually closed now because she aimed to reach 1 million pesos and right now she's at 3.3 million pesos. So that's freaking wild. This was for street vendors who are still forced to go out to work and can't go home during the quarantine. Honestly, I'm so proud of us. We did so well with that fundraiser. Next, there's a movement called Kaya Natin, which is um, by the office of the vice president. So what you can do, pwede kayong bumili ng isang ticket. So one ticket equals one health worker because for the health worker, you'll be providing an N95 mask, one medical gown, two sets of gloves, two head covers, two shoe covers, and one pair of goggles. So instead of buying the foreign test kits that cost around 8,500 pesos, these test kits cost 1,320 pesos. Pwede donate sa UP Medical Foundation because they are the foundation that created the local test kits that we have now. na hindi lahat tayo may extra funds na pwede nating i-donate. Kung hindi nyo kaya mag-donate ngayon, I, I encourage you to offer a prayer instead. First, for our health workers who are 
exhausted and honestly scared for their lives. We call these people our frontliners because they are literally like kind of in the battlefield every single day. These people are quarantined away from their friends, away from their family because they're working 24 hours a day to save these people's lives. So let's pray for protection over their bodies against the virus. Let's pray for comfort and for peace and for strength to keep doing what they're doing. Next, let's pray for our government, let's pray for wisdom, let's pray for unity, and let's pray that the decisions that they make are the ones that prioritize the people's best interests. Lastly, let's pray for us, you know, let's pray for protection for our family members, for our friends against the virus, but let's also pray that we let this crisis bring out the best in us, not the worst. Of course, I still want to encourage everybody to stay home because if you watch this video, na to, it's probably because you have the ability to. The best thing that you can do for our nation right now is to curb the spike or the rise of the numbers by stopping the spread and staying home. This is actually a historical moment, so let's respond in a way that we want to be written in the history books about. Kaya natin to, ipakita natin yung bayanihan na tinuro sa atin sa grade school. We need it now more than ever. Let's all be a little kinder. Bye!